Olivet is a very beautiful suburb in the middle of St. Louis County, but it's not the biggest town in St. Louis, so it doesn't always come up in conversation with people moving here. Now, if you're moving to the area wondering what does it look like, what does it feel like, I'm talking about the neighborhoods, the lifestyle, and a division you will see in property values in Olivet. We're talking about all of it, so let's get right to it. Hey, welcome to the channel or welcome back. My name is Jacob Pistrup. So like I said, Olivet is not the biggest suburb in St. Louis, but the one thing that gets people's attention with it is always the school district. So schools and pricing is usually what brings people to Olivet, at least that I've talked to and in our experience, which is Ledoux School District. So the entirety of Olivet has Ledoux schools, typically at lower prices than you'll see in Ledoux. So that is the one huge selling point a lot of people seem to be drawn to Olivet for. And by the way, if you're moving to Olivet or somewhere else in the St. Louis area, if you want some help with that process, buying a house or a condo, just send us an email or send us a text. My team and I are licensed realtors. This is what we do all day, every day, and we love getting to help our clients who are moving to the St. Louis area. Now, believe it or not, Olivet is actually the number one most diverse suburb in St. Louis, and that's by niche.com. I'm not trying to steer you, but if you're someone who values diversity, having different people and different stories, you will see that in Olivet. Some of those other areas from the list, Breckenridge Hills, University City, and Hazelwood and Florissant. Now Olivet is kind of nestled in between Creve Core, University City, and Ladue. So it kind of has elements of all those areas. They're kind of different, but they kind of come together in Olivet. And just in terms of the neighborhoods and the houses you'll see, it is a smaller area. So there's not as much talk about as an area like Chesterfield that is huge, but it is beautiful. You have all your commercial space along Olive and then neighborhoods that stem off of it either north and south in Olivet. And like I mentioned, you will have Ladue schools, but typically at lower prices than you do in actual Ladue. Creve Core is kind of the same way. Sometimes it's higher priced than Olivet. So usually you'll see a certain house at a lower price in Creve Core or Olivet than that exact same house would be in Ladue because Ladue is by far one of the most expensive areas in St. Louis County. Don't get me wrong, Creve Core and Olivet they're not usually cheap, but they are definitely cheaper than Ledoux, and your money will go further in Olivet than it does in Ledoux proper. So just to give you perspective, Olivet is typically in the 500,000s with their median selling price, whereas Ledoux usually in the high 800s, if not low 900s. So Olivet is cheaper and your money goes further for the same house in Olivet than it does in Ladue. And that's why I said the one of the biggest drivers to Olivet is the school district and the fact that you have a top ranking school at a lower price than somewhere like Ladue or Clayton. And you will also see a lot of variety. So you'll see some of these older brick homes, either a ranch or a two story, and you will see a lot of newer built and custom homes in Olivet, specifically on the part that's closer to Ladue. So you see more of this kind of infill, new construction, custom built homes. So if you want a brand new house in Ladue schools, you will get that at a way better price somewhere like Olivet than you will in Ladue. And back to what I mentioned earlier, there is a division that you will see in prices in Olivet. So Olive Boulevard is the main road that goes right through Olivet. And this is your typical busy road. You have your commercial centers, shopping, restaurants, grocery stores, gyms, all of that is along Olive Boulevard. And it basically divides Olivet into north and south. So anywhere north, you will see usually smaller homes, smaller lots, older and at lower prices. South of Olive, which is closer towards Ladue, you will see the newer homes, bigger houses, more expensive in terms of price. So that's the biggest difference you'll see. But in both cases, north and south, 
you're gonna have reduced schools regardless. Like if you want a house under 400,000 or so in Ladue schools, you'll see a lot more for that in Olivet than you will in Ladue. 400,000 is usually the lowest end in Ladue, and you'll definitely see houses. Like you will see some houses in the 300s and 400s in Ladue, but be careful, they're usually small houses, small lots, or they're in a floodplain. And the reason I bring that up is because this just happened. We just had some people and you know, in Ladue, you will see a couple of these houses that are in the 300s and 400s, beautiful interior, like renovated perfectly, but it's in a flood zone. And this is so, so important, especially after this summer, 2022, we had record historic rainfall, flash floods, like there were cars underwater on the highway. And those houses in the flood zone are the first ones to get flooded, get the basement destroyed. That's the risk you run with buying anywhere in a flood zone. It was horrible. I had some clients who moved here from out of state last year to Central West End, my favorite people. They called and said, hey Jacob, do you have a contractor because our basement got flooded and we need to redo the carpeting and the drywall. I was like, oh my God, I am so, that sucks. I'm so sorry. Give Brian a call. Yes, let me know if you need other help with the work. But, and it's like Central West End isn't even in a flood zone. Like none of it is in a flood hazard area. And we had just like this record rainfall out of nowhere in St. Louis. And then you're stuck dealing with it and insurance. And it is just a pain in the you know what when you don't think you're, it's gonna be an issue until it is and then the damage is done and it is just difficult to deal with. I'm not trying to steer you or scare you away, but there are always risks with buying property that is in a flood hazard zone. Cause we just saw that. It, it happens. My point being, I'm not trying to go on a ramble here. Olivet, beautiful homes. You will definitely see some more options at lower prices than you'll see in Ladue for the same exact house. It'll probably be lower priced in Olivet. And again, whether you want one of those more older brick homes in Olivet or something newer, more modern, more custom, you'll see a lot of these more modern houses in Olivet. Beautiful in every way, like there's a lot to choose from if you're moving to Olivet. So again, if you want some help with that process, just send us an email, send us a text. That is what we're here for. We got you covered if you're moving to Olivet or somewhere else in St. Louis, we would love to help you with that process. So thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Hope you take care, have a phenomenal day, and I will see you in the next video right here on the Living St. Louis channel.